Well, good evening there, everybody. Welcome back to In the Kitchen with Tally Faye. I hope everybody's had them a wonderful Sunday. It's been beautiful here as always. It's been a beautiful day. So, uh, we did that uh, shrimp salad number two recipe uh, this morning. So, that's been sitting in the refrigerator. And we're going to bed that up and set that up on a big old bed of our fresh uh, lettuce and radishes and onions and all out of the garden, you know, and make us a big salad on, on there. And we're going to eat it with uh, some club crackers, right? But we've got two things on the side that we're going to eat with that tonight. And <clears throat> one of the things I'm going to show y'all is these, I call them the broken potatoes, okay? And may I'm, I kind of think y'all, you know, surely some of you've heard about it or whatever and stuff, but it's real easy to do, y'all. What I did was I got me one of these little bags here. Won't be long. Me and Buzz won't be having to buy no taters. They about, they'll be coming in. We'll have red potatoes scattered all in the dining room floor. <laughs> anyway, this is a one and a half pound bag. Now, y'all, with this recipe, again, uh, measurements are not in this recipe for me. They are not in this one. So, but that gives you an idea of, you know, how many, let me put it down here, you know, how many potatoes you're going to have to serve people. And because they're done individually, well, that helps, you know, helps give you an idea. You know, you're like, well, okay, there's three for dad, you know, two for mom, two or three for mom. There's one, you know, whatever for the kids. So anyway, it just helps you count them out. But anyway, you want, in general, about a one and a half, two pound bag of your little red skin new potatoes, all right? I got it over there on the stove because this, this takes a little bit. We're going to, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. I've got me a big pot of a uh, salted water boiling here. So we're just gonna take it and uh, put these potatoes in there. I got them washed real good and they're ready. So all we do is dump these potatoes in here and we gotta get them boiling, y'all. We're gonna get them boiling and we're going to let them cook and just until a knife can poke in, poke in them and uh, we can poke a knife in them and it pierces them easily, okay? So, that's the first step on this potato, getting these broken potatoes done. we got to get them boiled, kind of parboiled, I guess, you know, just where a knife will poke in them. That's what we're shooting for. We get that done, we'll come back and I'll show you the whole rest of it to do. And we'll get them going in the oven. Alrighty, I got them boiled up where I, I poked them with the, I used a butter knife to make sure because, you know, a, a really sharp pointed knife would go through them a little quicker. So I just used an old butter knife and and picked them up out of there like with my, with my strainer. I just picked up like a couple of the biggest potatoes and just poke it right through there. See, it'll go right down through it. So I know they're ready. So, I'm fixing to take them up in this bowl with this towel because I want to pat them dry. I want to dry them up good, right? So, I'm just going to put them right in this towel. In my strainer bowl, I had them in to start with. Save on dishes. All right. Here we go. That's got that. And y'all about... Uh, 10 minutes ago, I started heating my oven because you got to cook these boogers hot. That's why I'm not sure if this is a good... I know how this could be a good summertime thing is if you did these in the air fryer. It'd probably work just fine in the air fryer. But, you know, I've got my oven heating up to 450 degrees, y'all. The recipe i seen called for 500. But I'm good at 450. We're going to put it on that and put them on the top rack, Okay. But we got to do this first. Make sure they're good and dried off. Okay. Voila. Now, I got me a little old cookie sheet here. Uh-oh, I got it too far down, don't I? Uh, got me a little old cookie sheet here. Got me some foil on it. Got me some canola oil here. You know you can buy the spray olive oil if you want to. I just stick with the canola oil. It's just uh, a little bit cheaper, and um, it's a good medium oil for you, right? 
it'll do the job. So now we're gonna take these potatoes and put them on this sheet. Ooh, hot tamale. Mm. Okay, get that out of my way. We're gonna spread them out a little bit on here. All right, about like yay so, I reckon. Okay, let me get a cup here. I think I'll get my measuring cup. Because it's a good, heavy, heavy cup. And you just take it, and you're going to squish them. Break them down. Kind of like, like that, okay? Just bust them open, basically. You don't want to squish them flat, 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 right? If you can help it anyway. Just break them open. That's why I call them broken potatoes. Easy enough, right? So they're done already. All we're shooting for now is to get that little golden brown thing going on them. But before we do that, what we're gonna do is take, um, do I wanna do that first? No, you go ahead, <clears throat> and what I have here, y'all, is malt vinegar. <clears throat> it's the best for this recipe in particular. If you don't have malt vinegar, you can use cider vinegar, and it works just as good, really, okay? But I'm gonna take it, and I'm just gonna put me some dashes of it on, on these potatoes, sprinkle it on them, okay? Do it like that. Sprinkle it all over them taters. Easy peasy. Because we're going to put some more on it at the end. But right now, we're just getting it, getting that on them. And I guarantee you, they're soaking it up, right? Okay, we've got that on there. Now we're going to take us some black pepper. Let's do some black pepper all over them. All right, my oven just went off, so that booger's sitting on 450 degrees, y'all. Like I say, I'm going to put this tray on the top rack up there. But all I'm wanting to see on these things is a golden brown top on them. All right. Now, let's take our oil. And we're going to spray it on. Spray it on them again. Just like that. Okay. They're going in the oven, 450 on the top rack, and we're gonna watch them until they get start getting golden brown on the top. That's what we're shooting for. So I'm gonna get them in there. We get them out. I'm gonna take them and we'll give them another dash of the uh, malt vinegar, and then we'll sprinkle a little bit of this fresh dill on them, and they'll be ready. So let's get them in there. Get them, get them looking golden, y'all. All right, y'all, they brown enough for me, so I'm fixing to get them out of there. I'm gonna go ahead, get them out. Let me see, I'm gonna put them on my board. They've been in here a pretty good while, too. You know, but I didn't want them to dry out, but they're doing good. I've got them to the point that I want them. And y'all, all I'm gonna do is take them and shake some more of this vinegar on them. All right. Give them a dousing of this malt vinegar here. All right. And then go along here. I got my, some of my fresh dill cut up. 
real fine. I'm just gonna take it and just sprinkle it all over them and let it sit there, right? Mm-mm-mm. What do y'all think? I think that'll make a good side dish. Like I say, with summertime coming on, I'm thinking that we could do these in the air fryer, y'all. Absolutely. Because it's just going to heat that house up. Heat the house up too much, putting it on, you know, 450 and 500 degrees. And that don't mean I ain't going to be doing it some. Y'all know I got to with some of the cooking I do. But in general, if I got a choice, you know. But there they are. That's what we're going to do. Hold on, y'all. I got to flip my patties over here. I'm working double duty. Multitasking. Okay. All right, but here they are. Look at them up close. What do you think? I think they're going to be good, y'all. That's our little pan of broken potatoes. So... That's what we're gonna have with our supper tonight. That, and I'll show y'all what I'm doing over here. I was thinking about doing a video on these, but it's my uh, my creamy fried squash puffs, y'all. Look at them. I gotta stand them up in my little rack like that, and that keeps them from sweating on the back side. But man, these things are good. I had uh, four of those little squash left last from last night. Uh, if y'all watched my video last night, we had the fried squash, which was so delicious. But so tonight, I figured I'd go ahead and use those squash up before they go bad and make some squash patties with them. Some creamy squash patties. So, anyhow, hey, that's what we're doing in Tally Face Kitchen tonight, y'all. There they are. Our little broken potatoes. <laughs> y'all give it a try. It's easy to do. Y'all have you a great Sunday evening. Get in there and rest for the rest of the evening because that's what we're planning on doing so i love you guys thanks for everything god bless y'all stay blessed and uh just know that i love you and i appreciate everything all the sweet comments and everything everybody's just so good to me i feel so blessed about it i love y'all have a great one and i'll see you next time in the kitchen with tally faye